Hallelujah, Rev Nation. Come on and give God the highest praise. Come on and give God the highest praise. To everyone who is online, we welcome you into God's house. We're about to shake this place tonight. Are y'all ready? Are y'all ready? Are y'all ready to experience your God today? Are y'all ready to tap into his joy? Come on and give him a praise because he is worthy. Somebody say worthy.
joy is coming. Come on and sing that. Though the night, your joy is
atmosphere, I'm telling you. How many of you came from far and wide to be here? We're so happy to have you closer to us. You know, Jesus resides inside of all of us, and you might think, you know, he's in me, the Holy Spirit dwells inside of me. How much closer can we get? But have you ever seen a couple that's married living in the same house, but they don't talk? They don't talk, they don't know about each other's lives, they don't spend any quality time. So he could be right there with us all the time, but we could be roommates with Jesus. Turn to your neighbor and say, don't be roommates with Jesus. Turn to your other neighbor and say, don't be roommates with Jesus. Amen. Father, we just, more than anything that we came for tonight, we came for you. Jesus, you are the reason that we are here. You are the reason that we will be receiving our healing tonight. You are the reason that our miracle is in this room. You are the reason that my family will be delivered. I want you to claim your miracle right now. Claim your miracle right now. Victory is yours. Claim your miracle right now. Father, let us never forget the maker of miracles. The spirit behind it. Father, we love you. We worship you, we honor you, Lord. Everything, 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 everything falls so far below you. We exalt you, Jesus. And every day, may we grow closer and closer to you, Lord. May we know your mind. May we know your heart. Father, make us new in you. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen.
beautiful. I just want to get I'll breathe you in and out.
in this room right now. How many of you know God is in this room right now? He is! I've told this story before, but I grew up in a very religious church where it was more like check off the list. I went to church. A woman didn't wear pants in my church. We barely clapped. We barely smiled. I'm kidding, but yeah. But I remember when I became of age, I started trying out different churches. And I remember I went to one particular church and they were raising their hands in worship. And I was like genuinely scared. I was so weirded out. I hadn't seen that before. We sung hymns. We didn't even clap, mind you. So that's what I'm coming from. I was freaked out. If you asked me, I would have said, yeah, I believe in Jesus. I have Jesus in my heart. I accepted him into my heart. And, but I only believed in theory, and I didn't understand that. So when I saw people raising their hands, I was really weirded out, right? And I heard Holy Spirit's voice in that moment. And I was thinking to myself, what the heck are they doing? And I heard the Lord's voice in that moment, and he said, they believe I'm in the room. They actually believe I'm in the room. And it's sad that in Christian culture sometimes we call ourselves believers, but we don't actually believe. We only believe in theory, but we don't believe that the living God can actually encounter you in this moment, that he's actually in the room. Do we know that? And if you're, if you're like me and you need to activate your faith a little bit, snap out of the robotic religion of it because he is the living king and he is alive and he's in this room right now let that reality enter you let his love overtake you let your love for him overtake you as we go into this next song worship him he's here amen amen hallelujah you to raise your hands if you know that he's here raise your hands it's a sign of surrender it's a sign of adoration to your king Show me mercy once again. 
Today I was feeling really exhausted. And I was like, what's going on? Well, I know what's going on, but I was exhausted, right? So I was feeling super emotional and I'm like, why am I crying? Like nothing's actually wrong, but why am I crying? I don't know what you're going through or what emotions are trying to hinder you right now, but he's bigger than our feelings, right? He's so much bigger than our feelings. He is our source. He has everything we need to fill our cup back up, right? Our feelings love to lie to us. But Papa Lo always tells us baby Christians are led by their feelings. So we're going higher. We're going higher. We're going higher. That's baby stuff. That's baby stuff. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord in this place. If he's been good to you, praise the Lord in this place. It is so good to be in a house of God. It is so good to be here today with everyone. If you're watching online, if you're in here, if you're in an overflow, I just want you to, to feel the presence of the Lord. He is in this place. Oh, we worship you, Jesus. And we thank you, Lord, for the move of God that is taking place. For the move of God that starts here but is going across the world. To every corner, to every continent. We thank you, Lord, for what you are doing in our lives in this place. For every miracle, because you are still a God of miracles, a God that moves mountains, a God who heals the sick. Lord, we praise you, Jesus. We worship you, Lord. Oh, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Come on, let the heavens hear your worship. you Jesus glory to your name you are worthy you are worthy of our worship worthy of our praise oh mountains are still being moved strongholds are still being loosed oh God we believe it yes we can see it that wonders are still what you do and bodies are still being raised and giants are still being slain God we believe it and yes we can see it that wonders are still what you do we are here
healing is coming in this room. Miracles happen when you move. Heaven is coming. Miracles, miracles happen when you move. It's automatic. Healing is coming. I know my healing.
God is so good. We serve a God that's, that gets down in the dirt with us, in the middle of our mess. He's there with us. He's there for us. God, we surrender everything to you tonight. We surrender our cares. We surrender our hurts. God, we surrender our dreams to you, Father. We know that you are faithful. You are faithful and you never fail, Lord. We worship you, God.
worthy. Worthy of every song we could ever sing.
Sing, I will build.
Father's no one above you. We exalt your name, lift you above everything, higher and higher, higher and higher. We lift you up, Jesus. There's no one above you. There's nobody beside you. Jesus, Jesus. Within my heart is a melody that was not taught. In the darkest night, it still goes on. The anthem of my God within my heart is a treasure that cannot be bought. And when all else is faded, it will not. The presence of my God, oh, magnify the Lord. Let us exalt His name together. No one beside you, Lord.
single thing that you walked in with. I promise you, there's nothing you've done that isn't forgivable. I promise you that on the day that you surrender your life to Jesus, everything will change. Offer him your heart right now. Maybe you gave him your heart a long time ago. But you haven't been acting like it lately. What does that mean, have my heart? It means everything that I'm doing is being led by your will, Jesus. I will die to self so that you live, Jesus. I will love you above all things, Jesus. You are the king of my life, Jesus. There is no person, no thing, no distraction above you, Jesus. We can put other things in our hearts. As soon as they lift themselves above the name of Jesus, we are idolizing them. Pull them down now. Pull them down now. Pull them down now now and put your king back on his throne. Offer him everything that you have because he gave everything that he has. He gave you everything that you have. It all belongs to him anyways. You can have my heart. Let your voice oh, oh, oh. You can have my heart. You can have my heart, Jesus. I mean it, I mean it.
take my as a sacrifice I wanna burn for you only for you clean my head purify my heart I wanna burn for you only Probably some overflow, overflow, overflow. This building needs to shake. Only God, only God can make a way. Only God can heal the blind. Only, am I wrong? Am I right? Come on, lift up your praise. When I count to three, I want you to give the biggest only you. We're, we're giving reverence to our King, okay? So one, two, three. I think we're ready. Come on and put your hands together.
But I found my salvation on the cross You told me that I was worth the cost Yeah, yeah Lord, you went to wash You took on my battle and you won You beat the grave and took the keys and Nobody like the Lord, right? Y'all, y'all praise don't have to get silent. The worship doesn't have to get silent. We here for the King, Amen. Come on and lift your praise in this building. Come on and lift your. It ought to 
we thank you for your grace and your mercy thank you for giving us the privilege to be in your presence Lord we don't deserve you but because of your great love you gave us your son Lord we humble ourselves under your mighty and capable hands purify us sanctify us of every unrighteousness Lord exalt the name of your son Jesus amongst us Father, may we know you more today than we did yesterday. Wash our eyes to see. Remove anything that is a hindrance, Father, from understanding and knowing your ways. Give us a pure heart, O oh Lord, a heart that can see you. May we be changed today. May our burdens be lifted today. In the mighty name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you that the name of Jesus will be lifted, that the name of Jesus will be adored, that the name of Jesus will be exalted. Glorify yourself even now, Father, in Jesus' name. Somebody shout amen. Amen. Clap your hands if you can. Amen. Hallelujah. I say clap your hands if you can. Hallelujah. Clap your hands if you can. Hallelujah! 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 Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Listen to me, tonight will be a special night. Amen. Uh, your amen, amen is too weak amen. for me. Amen. Tonight. We are going to experience something special in the presence of God. Amen. And um, I want you to understand something. The Bible says, give honor where it is due. It means you owe somebody honor. I want you to understand what that means. Dues means you owe. You have to give it. And uh, the biggest hindrance in the kingdom of God has always been that men give honor to what they think they should. Yes. They don't give honor where God has honored himself. Yes. There's a big difference. The Bible says when somebody looked at Jesus, there was nothing to desire of him. You looked at him and you thought he was a nobody. Yes. But there are those who saw him and they threw themselves at his feet. And there are those who saw him and they saw him as a colleague. And there are those who saw him, they saw him as a brother. And there are those who saw him, they saw him as God. Being able to do all things. Based on your view of the Lord Jesus, he determined what he could do for you. Amen. Are you hearing me? The Lord Jesus went to his hometown. And the Bible says he could do no many miracles because of their unbelief. And their unbelief was that, is this not the son of Joseph? We know him. He grew up here. Why is he feeling himself like this? You see, based on what you see is where men make their judgment. But the Bible says God does not see as man sees. I want you to understand something about God. When God selects somebody, he doesn't select them because you like them. 
Amen. Come on. He doesn't. He doesn't care about what you think. The Lord thinks about his purpose. Because anyone that is to serve God is preordained. What does that mean? Before the foundations of the earth, God already chose them. Now, when God selects somebody, he knows the good, the bad, the ugly, and the best about them. And based on that decision, based on that knowledge, sorry, he makes his decision. Why? Because for God to reveal himself, he must choose something that you will undermine. Vision. If he selects something that you give honor to, then you give honor to what you can adore, what you can worship. He must choose something that he can hide something special in it. Amen. That he would take divine revelation. Amen. For you to recognize who God's hand is upon. When people saw Samson, there was nothing beautiful about Samson. There was nothing special about David. There was nothing special about Solomon. None of these men, according to today's standards, would have had churches. Nobody would have believed in them. They preach from their books. But if the men were alive, they would be the first ones to expose them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So understand this by the Spirit of God that God does not see like we see. And I thank God that God gave me his eyes to see. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. And um, I want you to understand something. I am a man ordained by God, not by man. God called me since I was six. So my call doesn't depend on anyone. It depends on God himself. But if God opens your eyes to see something, that will empower his purpose in you. You will be a fool to look at men and miss what God has for you. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm about to, to proceed, but I'm gonna tell you this. I came to discover that the greatest names doesn't mean that they are ordained for you. Amen. In my lowest time, in the time that no one knew who Lovi Elias was, some people call me Elias, whichever one you want. Before anybody knew who I was, when I was serving men and women of God, and I'm a servant, served faithfully, they never believed there was anything in me, even though I knew what God has called me to do. I never showed it. I was calm, waiting for my moment. But I knew through my service, there are things I would learn that I can't learn in the presence of God. I will only learn in the presence of a man serving God. Amen. And uh, as I was serving the Lord, I realized how many people undermined me, how many people looked down on me, whom I served, they didn't care. How do I know? When I went through divorce, they disappeared. When I went through death, they were nowhere to be seen. When no one saw me, they never cared to say, that's my son, that's uh, my mentee. That is, they never cared. But there's only one man that from the time I met him in 2013, knew exactly where I was going and trusted what God put in me that no matter what the turn was he never wavered he called me prayed for me teach me this is how you serve God don't worry about this and that and that when my brother Christian was in hospital at the point of death he would get on the plane travel from Africa when he's doing business or doing mean and fly and just come to pray my brother will come out of hospital and he will go back nobody had ever shown me that kind of love to care about my pain Amen. to carry the burden for me I had never seen it a lot of men said oh I will pray for you <laughs> me myself I prayed I knew God's mind 
but he would travel, come and pray for me. Pray. And then he would revive. He would be revived. And then he would leave. Then one day I remember I was praying. And the Lord told me, Today, at 5.25 a.m., I'm going to take your brother. I want him to come home. It's time for him to go and be with me. I remember when I heard this from God. My mother called me, rang the phone and called me. She said, baby, how are you doing? I said, mama, I'm okay. She said, okay, I know you're okay. But God called me to tell you, you already know what he told you. He told me to tell you to be strong. We will get through this. A little bit later, my father gets on the flight. From, he already knew. So he's there. I'm thinking he's in Africa. He already boarded the plane, flew, got to Maryland, got to Maryland, got into Spirit Airline. <laughs> there was no flight. Got in on a flight. A man who has, I don't know the last time he saw economy. Got on a flight. My mother got on another flight. People flew all the way down. While I'm crying like this first thing in the morning, he was there to hold me, tell me it's okay. <laughs> Understand this. <laughs> to me, this is, uh, is God's blessing in my life. Amen. When I had no two dollars to rub together, he fed me come and pray for me and tell me this is the last time I will visit you in this apartment. Yes, yes. When I bought my first house, he came to my house one time, two times with mama, then he said, ah, I don't like this house for you. In a little bit, I will visit you, but not in this one, in another one. Yes. And everything he has ever told me yes. has happened. Let me show you how concerned this man is about me. One day I'm minding my business. I have I have four dogs. And he knows which one we love the most and whom we don't like too much. <laughs> <laughs> and he was praying, said, I, I was praying for you. But uh, I saw the white dog. I said, Snow. He said, yeah. I saw Snow rush to the hospital. And they were doing surgery on him because he had swallowed a bone. Please, no matter what you do, keep bones away from him. I don't want this dog to die. I'm praying because I know how much pain he will cause you. In my mind, I'm like, I know you are deep, but this is a joke. <laughs> I promise you, in my mind, I doubt it for a second. I say, I know the extent, but this one is nah. <laughs> While I'm at the store, Masengo, I think, with the prophetess Maggie, you are cutting ribs. Me, I don't know. And I just got a call. Well, you please, we are rushing to the hospital, to the puppy hospital. What happened? Snow just jumped and swallowed a whole rib. <laughs> and he's wailing. I grabbed my head. I went on my knees. I repented before God. <laughs> I said, God, you really care for us that you would see such a... Amen. <laughs> Prophecy for dog because he will hurt you. They rush to the hospital, x-ray, big old bone inside of him. And um, all I'm trying to tell you is this. Whenever God sends you a package, he hides it. He takes revelation to see it. Amen. And I thank God I have a divine revelation of prophet Passion Java. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 It's been a blessing to me. I believe it will be a blessing to you. As my father comes up, please clap your hands and receive the prophet of God. The prophet of God. The prophet of God. You can clap better. You can clap better. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Somebody shout louder hallelujah. hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. You 
can shout better than that. You can scream better than that. Hallelujah. You can celebrate better than that. Hallelujah. Lift up your voice. With your hands lifted up. somebody next to you bless three people around you thank you worshipers god bless you god bless you god bless you thank you great five people great five people great five people bless them great somebody bless somebody Bless somebody. Bless somebody right now. Release the anointing right about there. Bless three people right now.
Somebody shout hallelujah. Give me a J. A strong J. E. S. U. S. Whom do we have? Jesus. Whom do we have? There's power in the name of Jesus. Healing in the name of Jesus. Deliverance in the name of Jesus. Fire in the name of Jesus. RCJC in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeah. Glory. We have uh, the best worshipers in the world in the Amen. house. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory. Uh, my team all the way from Passion Java Ministries, God bless you. Amen. 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 And, uh, Amen. and uh, all the great bishops and prophets and pastors and teachers and ushers and members, God bless you. Uh, my mother-in-law is here. My Amen. wife, my rib. Clap your hands for Mama Lily. Hallelujah. Looking sharp. Sharper Amen. than a two-edged sword. Glory. Prophet EJ. Hallelujah. And the First Lady. Prophet Serene Bishop Paul. And uh, today I'm the great prophet Lovey, so clap your hands for me. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Let us uh, open our Bibles in the book of Psalm 66, verse number 10. I need a good reader to read. I'm still learning how to read. Amen. And Luke chapter number 24, verse number 28 to 30. And uh, Genesis chapter 32, verse 22 to 32. Somebody to read. For thou, O God, has proved us. Thou has tried us as silver is tried. Amen. Amen. Tell your neighbor, I've been tried. I've been tried. Luke chapter number 24, verse 28 to the 30th. I feel the anointing tonight. <laughs> Glory to God. You know what's happening tomorrow, right? Yeah. Uh, we have a prophetic class. Prophet Love is teaching in the afternoon, the prophetic class, and I'm preaching at night. Amen. And uh, hey. so Prophet Love is said, tonight don't give too much so that everybody will come tomorrow. Amen. So I'm going to give a little, uh, but I believe it will be good for you. Amen. 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 Luke 24, 28 to the thirtieth. And they drew nigh unto the village, whither they went, and he made as though he would have gone further. Keep going. But they constrained him, saying, Abide with us, for it is toward evening, and the day is far spent. And he went in to tarry with them. And it came to pass, as he sat at meat with them, he took bread and blessed it and broke and gave to them. He blessed the bread and he broke it. Amen. Somebody's about to be broken for that. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Genesis chapter number 32, verse number 22 to 32. The Americans, they say 22nd to the 32nd. Amen. Amen. And he rose up that night and took his two wives and his two woman servants and his 11 sons and passed over the four Jabbok. And he took them and sent them over the brook and sent over that he had. And Jacob was left alone and there wrestled a man with him until the breaking of the day. And when he saw that he prevailed not against him, he touched the hollow of his thigh. And the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint as he wrestled with him. And he said, let me go for the day breaketh. And he said, I will not let thee go except thou bless me. And he said unto him, what is thy name? 
And he said, Jacob. And he said, thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel. For as a prince hast thou power with God and with men and has prevailed. And Jacob asked him and said, tell me, I pray thee, thy name. And he said, wherefore is it that thou dost ask after my name? And he blessed him there. And Jacob called the name of the place Peniel, for I have seen God face to face, and my life is preserved. And as he passed over Peniel, the sun rose upon him, and he halted upon his thigh. Therefore the children of Israel eat not of the sinew which shrank, which is upon the hollow of the thigh unto this day, because he touched the hollow of Jacob's thigh in the sinew that shrank. Father, thank you for the reading of your word. I pray that you bless everybody in the house. And I pray that you speak your prophetic word to everybody. Heal the brokenhearted, heal the sick. Deliver the bound and let your word be a blessing to us. Open for the windows of heaven and pour down the river of revelation so that we can hearken and perceive to what the Spirit says to the church. Bless us tonight, we pray. In the name of Jesus, amen. 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 Touch your neighbor and say, neighbor. Neighbor. If you go through what I've gone through. If you, if you go, go through what I've gone through. You will surely die. You, you will surely die. die. I'm broken. I'm broken. But I'm still standing. But I'm, but I'm still, still standing. standing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Take your seats in Jesus' name. The title of my message tonight is called I'm Broken. Amen. But I'm still standing. Amen. I'm broken. But I'm still standing. I've been broken and broken and broken and broken. I don't understand how I'm still alive. And I believe I'm not the only person broken in the house. Some people have gone through fire. They've gone through hell. They've gone through betrayal. But they are still here. It's never easy to get up and become somebody in life. There is no hero without scars. So if I want to know if you're a hero, I want to see your back. How many scars do you have? Amen. If you want to call yourself a hero, I want to look into your heart and see how many times have you been broken. Because the only problem we have in church is we want power. But we don't want what makes us powerful. What makes us powerful is not easy. It's a rough path. You have to walk through the valley of the shadow of death before your cup runs over. Amen. Amen. Uh, someone is here trying to see if this man of God are real or fake. It's a sign that you have not been broken. Because the deep call it to the deep. Amen. Broken people relates with broken people. Amen. It just means you are still raw and you are still in the process. But one thing I want you to understand about being broken is that when God is breaking you, he is not breaking you. He is breaking your limitation. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is never going to break you unless you surrender your life to him and say, Lord, use me. Yeah. God is not going to break you until you say, God, make me a millionaire for your kingdom. Amen. God is not going to break you until you want to be bigger and better than who you are. So your problem comes whenever you challenge yourself to be a blessing to others. God gazes into your capacity 
and sees that your capacity cannot heal HIV. In your capacity, you cannot heal cancer. You cannot resurrect the dead. So he comes down to break you out from your own capacity so that you can be in his capacity. Amen. So people that run away from being broken are people that are running away from God's capacity. Ordinary people are people that have refused to be broken. But tonight God is saying, I'm calling you for the last time into a breaking point. Amen. Where I'm going to break you until you no longer have tears. I'm going to break you until your sweat becomes a sweat of blood. I'm going to break you until there is no one left in your life. Your own father call you a witch. Your own mother say nothing good can come out of you. Your brothers call you a devil. And all your friends have walked away from you. And there is no way to turn. And God says, I'm ready to take you to the next level. Amen. 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 I didn't come here to talk to everybody. I came to people that are saying, I no longer want to walk in my capacity, but I want to walk in his capacity. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm a man, but I no longer want to be just a man. I want to be a man of God. Amen. I want God to have capacity in me so that when I walk, it's not only me walking, but God is walking through me on earth to touch you, you, you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to go deeper now, but Papa Law says don't go deeper tonight. So, when God is coming to break you, he's simply breaking your limitation. He gathered thousands of people and is looking at 5,000 people in the wilderness where they cannot find bread anywhere. And he asked the question, what do you have? They said, we got nothing, but there's a young boy that has got bread and fish. He said, bring the bread to me. It's five loaves of bread, but I want to feed 5,000 people. So I have to break the limitation of the bread so that everybody can eat bread. Come on. Hallelujah. And the five bread is representing your five senses. Which God says, I want to break you out from your sense of sight. Come on. So that you may walk by faith. Come on. You don't need to go by your situation, but you need to go by my revelation. Amen. Amen. I want you to stop looking at what you are looking at and you see beyond what you are seeing. Yeah. Hallelujah. I feel the anointing of God in my spirit. Hallelujah. I'm talking to a billionaire who don't know that there are billions locked on the inside. I'm talking to a greater prophet than me who is thinking I'm just a young boy sitting in the crowd. God says there is greatness on the inside of you if you can only allow me to break you from your limitation. Amen. Uh, and here is the interesting part about God breaking you now. When God comes down to break you, he doesn't use Beyonce. He uses people that are so close to you. He uses your husband. He uses your maid. He uses your own child. Because he knows your pain is in what you love. That's why you have to be careful of what you love. I don't want to go there tonight. I have to take it simple tonight. God is looking for someone who is saying, God, I am a billionaire, just break me. 
I'm a prophet, just break me. Yes. There are stadiums in me, just break me. Yes. There are movies in me, just break me. Yes. I'm the next actress, just break me. Yes. I'm ready for the next move that you have for me. Yes. Oh God, Aradabashata. I'm looking at a big tree that is coming from the ground and the branches coming out and the leaves blooming and everything is all right. And the tree is dancing, I am deep. I'm the idiosyncratic. I am the gaffer. Until one man comes with an axe and begins to cut you. You dare go cry and say, why are you cutting me? I did you no wrong. Your enemies are not the people you wronged. Your enemies are people that are not working against you. They are working for you. You are sitting there busy casing your enemies. You don't know that your enemies are working for you. Amen. God is using them to break you for the next move. Amen. Amen. Oh, Lord, I feel the anointing. Hallelujah. God is using your haters to break you to the next level. And you don't know why your husband walked away from your house. You don't know why you have to go through divorce. You, uh, uh, let me not go there. But, but, but the secret is I have to break you in order to bless people through you. Amen. And if I call you for 10 people, I break you 10 times. If I call you for 100 people, I break you 100 times. Come on. If I call you for 1 million people, I break you a million times. Yes. But if you are called internationally, Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to break you and break you and break you and break you yeah. and break you. Yes. I feel like I'm talking to somebody who said I'm always on my tears. Today I'm in this situation. Tomorrow here is another. I come out of this situation before I breathe here is another. I'm still rooted in this situation trying to figure out how to come out. My child is bringing more problems. Before I discipline my child, my husband is coming with more problems. I'm always in a fight. It's because you are not local. You are just international. And yeah. God says, I'm breaking you yeah. and breaking you and breaking you See. so that the world can have every piece of what I got yeah. on the inside. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm broken, but I'm still standing. So when people look at me, they want to dress like me. They want to prophesy like me. They want to drive like me. But what you don't know is you are seeing the tree. You don't know the struggle of the roots. Come on. When I fasted 40 days and nights and I was admitted in the hospital. When I went through persecution, when I went through the fire. God says, don't look at the outside. But look on the inside. Because I'm about to do a work within you that if told, you will not believe it. So Jesus broke the bread. He never multiplied the bread. Because there can never be another person like you. You are fearfully and wonderfully made in your own uniqueness that no one else is like you. Amen. So God is never going to multiply you, but he's simply going to break you and he's going to bless you. Amen. And the language of the blessing says, replenish, multiply, yes. subdue, yes. everywhere you shall go. You shall release impartation of power. Amen. Impartation of grace. Yeah. Impartation of anointing. Yeah. 
I don't know who I'm talking to right here. But God told me to tell somebody that you may be crying tonight. But weeping may endure just for a night. Not for nights. But just for a night. But joy is coming. Hallelujah. Joy is on the way coming your way. I will see. I want to be ever something is moving me in my spirit. I I feel like prophesying to somebody in here. Who have been broken and broken. You wanted to quit, but you got no choice because your life is in his hands. You wanted to run, but you couldn't. You wanted to walk away, but you couldn't. You even said you can't, but you are still here because your destination is greater than what you don't. Yeah. Hallelujah. I'm about to prophesy and few minutes something. Uh, I, I may disobey the prophet tonight because I feel the prophetic moving in my spirit. Somebody is getting impartation as I speak. I'm broken, but I'm still standing. Ah, I'm broken, but I'm still standing. I lost my job because my boss thought he was running everything. He didn't know God was using him to break me. So I don't hate my boss. But I thank God for my boss. Because if it wasn't my boss, I'll still be under a demon-possessed boss. Have you ever been anointed but you are sitting under a demon-possessed husband? Let me know God there. Have you ever been anointed, but you are still in a demonic house, demonic family, demonic job, everything around you, people are surrounded by evil spirits, demons, devils, and you are asking yourself, I'm anointed, what am I doing here? Why am I still here? And God says, I'm keeping you there in order to break you. I feel like shouting in here. Hallelujah. Can I go deeper before I take you higher? Go deeper. And here you are coming to church, feeling like I need to be where my brothers and my sisters are. And while you are in church, God uses church people to break you apart. Come on. They gossip about you in church. You're busy worshiping. They are laughing at you. They are busy calling you names. The reason why they are breaking you is because they want you to be like them. Come on. They just want you to be like them. But you never chose to be special. God just chose you, selected you, called you, predestined you. When you were in the club, he said, this one is mine. And he called you out, separated you from your friends, separated you from your neighborhood people, and said, come out of your house. Come out of your family. Come out of your people yeah. and go to a place I shall show you. Come on. Have you ever looked at your picture when you were dressed deep <laughs> seven years ago and you ask yourself, what was I thinking? What was wrong with me? It's because you were in your capacity. And God broke you out of your capacity. Amen. And amen. he said, you are too special yeah. to be wearing that mean skirt. You are too special. Let me know God there. 
Uh, touch your neighbor and say, neighbor, you're broken. Neighbor, you're, you're broken. broken. But you are still standing. But you're still standing. But I'm broken more than you. But I'm broken more than you. Amen. I don't know who I'm talking to right now. But I feel like I'm talking to somebody who is saying, I'm ready for the next move of God. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like I got the spirit of God in me. Yeah. Because God can never be capacitated in a human being. That is why when he created the man, he breathed into the nostrils of man the breath of life. What he breathed into the man, he breathed himself. So that when he enters you, he is not entering into you, but he's entering into his spirit. Come on. Come on. I'm about to close now. Jesus is the place of God. The Holy Spirit is the personality of God. That is why you can never receive the Holy Spirit unless you receive Jesus. Because Jesus is the place which capacitates the Holy Spirit. I'm here to prophesy to somebody that when you received Jesus, you started to walk like Jesus. You picked up the cross like Jesus. You were crucified on the cross like Jesus. They placed a crown of thorns on you like Jesus. They pierced you like Jesus because they are breaking you apart so that the power in you may be revealed. Come on. Hallelujah. I feel like shouting in here. I feel like screaming in here. God, uh, give give, give me two minutes. I'm sitting here. And I'm wondering, as a young boy in Assemblies of God, 1999, my pastor is reading a scripture that says, God has blessed me with all spiritual blessings pertaining life in this world. But I got no blessing around me. I got no car. I was confused until I began to understand that there is me for time and there is time for me. Come on. God bless me before the foundation of this world. But where are my blessings? Before I was in my mother's womb, my blessings were already there. I'm 35 years old now, I still got no blessings. I grew to understand that these blessings are pending until God finishes to break me. Come on. Because me for time means I got to work for everything that I got to get in time. But the time for me means everything is already there in time waiting for me to be ready to receive. Amen. So good. I'm waiting for my car right now. But God says, I'm not going to give you the car unless you prove yourself to accommodate the car. Because some cars may destroy you. I got to know that you are stronger than the car before I give you the car. You are stronger than the million before I give you the million. I rose to tell somebody that God is breaking you to give you the power. To handle every blessing that's on the way to you. Touch your neighbor and say, neighbor. Neighbor. I've been broken. I've been been broken. broken. And I'm waiting for my blessings. And I'm waiting waiting for for my my blessings. This week I'm getting my blessings. This This week week I'm I'm getting my my blessings. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm closing in five minutes. 
Jacob left his father's house because his father had blessed him. So he walked away with Esau's blessing, but he got no manifestation of a blessing. He is in Laban's house, but he's lived a cursed life while he's here as a blessing. You are living a cursed life, but you carry a blessing on the inside. Because it's not you for time. It's time for you. Time is waiting for you to be broken in order for the blessing to be released. But Jacob don't want to be broken. He lies to receive. He cheats to receive. He is a corn man to be blessed. Until he was left alone. And the angel of God came to wrestle with him. And when he was fighting like law. He threw the jabs and the uppercuts. Prevailed over the angel of God. But the angel broke his leg. The man is broken, but he's still standing. And he says, I will not let you go. Come on. Come on. Unless you bless me. Yes. I don't know who I'm talking to. Come on. Come on. I'm broken. But I'm still standing. Yes. My enemies want me to fall. But I'm still standing. Yes. I'm in pain. Yes. But I'm still standing. Amen. I don't know who I'm prophesying to right now. They thought you are going to break and you fall down. Yeah. But you are still standing. Hallelujah. Yeah. Ten years later, you are still standing. Yeah. Hallelujah. Say nothing good can come out of you, but you are still standing. Amen. I feel something in my spirit. I feel like shouting in here. Yeah. High five your neighbor for the first time. Say, neighbor. Neighbor. I'm broken, but I'm still standing. 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 I got the anointing on the inside. I got power on the inside. I got fire on the inside. There is a power in me that you have not yet seen. You have not yet seen. I'm getting ready to explore. I'm getting ready to explore. I'm getting ready to walk with power. I'm getting ready to walk with I'm power. getting ready to walk with fire. I'm getting ready to walk with fire. But I'm waiting for the last time to be broken. I'm waiting, waiting for, the, for the last time to be broken. I've been fighting my whole life. I've been fighting my whole but life. But now I'm coming out with more power. Because the angel said, what is your name? And he said, my name is Jacob. The angel said, your name is not Jacob. But your name is Israel. From today, God is changing your name. And he's giving you a name. That is above all other names in your family. He's giving you a name. That is above everybody in the neighborhood. He's giving you a name that is so special that when your name shall be spoken of, greatness shall follow. I rose to tell somebody, let them lie against you. Let them cheat you. Let them divorce you. Let them speak evil against you. Let them call you a witch. He is breaking you to show your power. Can I prophesy? I feel like prophesying in this place. This week God is going to show you power that you have never seen before. Because glory is about to be revealed in you. Thou have been tried like silver, refined as gold. But look at you now. It's your time to shine. It's your time of glory. Somebody was holding your blessing. 
Somebody was holding your fire. Somebody was holding your man. But God told me to tell you, what's yours is coming back. I receive. Yeah. What's yours is coming now. What's yours is on the way now. High five your neighbor again. Say neighbor, neighbor. Neighbor, neighbor. What's mine is mine. What's mine is mine. You may try to take it away from me. You can try to hold it from me. It's just but a temporal time. My time is coming now. And everything that's mine is coming to me now. I feel fire in my spirit. Let me come down to you now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I have cried. I have suffered. I have complained. But God told me to tell you, it's my time to rise again. It's my time for fire. I don't know who I'm talking to right now. But God told me to tell you, you may be broken, but you are still standing. Tell your neighbor, I'm still standing. I'm still walking. So hey, though I walk through the valley of this shadow, I fear no evil because it's already done. I'm powerful. I'm strong. Tell your neighbor, 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 look at my bicep. Look at my tricep. Look at my chest. Look at my six pack. I am strong. I don't know who I'm talking to right now, but I'm stronger than what you can think of. I'm stronger than what you can see. My money is on the way. My blessing is on the way. My fire is on the way. My prophecy is right on the way. And it's coming to me tonight. I'm getting ready to close. But I want to tell somebody that tonight is your night. Florida is about to be blessed. America is about to be blessed. Something that's inside of your life is about to break open. They broke you to manifest you. I'm broken to manifest. I'm broken to show off and to show the devil. I am anointed. I am powerful. I am powerful. I am powerful. Oregon is about to catch fire because the anointing on the inside is about to manifest. I feel fire right here. God is touching somebody who's getting ready to touch somebody. You were not broken for you. God was just breaking your limitation. You were broken and broken and broken. And God says, tonight I'm breaking you for the last, for the last, for the last time. I'm breaking you. away from you no more yeah. tonight you are walking in a new season yeah, you're walking in new power walking in new levels of glory my anointed coming upon you tonight I receive. my fire is coming upon you tonight I receive it. I'm closing now touch your neighbor shake your neighbor's head Neighbor, 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 you don't know who I am. You don't know who I am. You don't know what I'm carrying. You don't know what I'm carrying. It's my time. It's my time. It's 
It's my season. It's my season. It's my time. It's my time. It's my time. I'm about to manifest. I'm about to, I'm about to show you power. I'm about to, I'm about to show you glory. Yeah. yeah. I'm walking. I'm walking. I'm walking. Yeah. I'm walking. Yeah. Broken. But I'm walking. Yeah. I'm broken. But I'm still standing. Yeah. Been there. Done that. Yeah. Lied it. But I'm still. I'm still. Hallelujah. I'm still. I'm still standing. 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 I'm broken. I'm broken. Got no money in my account. But I'm still standing. I'm still standing. I'm still walking. I'm still walking. I'm still running. I'm still running. I got power. I got power. I got power. I got power. I got power Run in my spirit I got anointed ah, I got power I got power I got glory I got fire Be lighted They walked on me They left me to die
understanding. Yeah. I'm broken, but I'm not falling down. I'm broken, but I'm still standing. Yeah. I may be leaping, but I'm still standing. Amen. I came to tell somebody, keep on standing. Keep on standing. Amen. No matter what's coming your way, yeah. keep on standing. Yeah. Keep on walking. Yeah. Keep on running. Yeah. Keep on running. Yeah. And run. And run. Yeah. And run. And run. Yeah. Faster. And faster. Yeah. And faster. Yeah. I'm The power of God is moving. Join your hands as they are lifted up. Join your hands. Jesus. Yeah. From my right to my left. Let the power of God move. Let the power of God move. The fire of the Holy Ghost is touching people right now. Yeah! 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 Woo! Impartation of power. The prophetic power. Yeah! Somebody is receiving new tongues right now. Tongues of angels. Tongues of angels. Someone there's an angel touching you right now. Right now, right now, right now. Woo! Yeah. Just bring those people here. Those that God is touching, bring them here. Fire! 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 In the overflow! Fire! Fire! Everywhere you are! Fire! I just bring them here. Fire! Yeah! God is touching somebody's eyes. 
He's unlocking you in the prophetic. You are going to see angels tonight. You are going to see visions tonight. You are going to have a prophetic dream tonight. Your eyes are opening right now. Yeah. Woo. Invitation is coming. Power is moving. La rona seki ya na 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 na. Yeni la na 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 mamosa da ba 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 ba. Hey. Tala <laughs> Tatara <laughs> Holy Spirit. Kaya With your hands, your lift hands. it up. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. I Say, saw Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, I saw. Jesus. I saw God giving you a word of interpretation of the tongues that you just uttered. Lift your hands to heaven. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the grace you have given us. Thank you for the grace you have given us. Thank you for the grace you have given us. Thank you for the grace you have given us. That we may know your son Jesus. That we may know your son Jesus. That as he was broken. That as he was broken. Because we are members of his body. Because we are members of his body. We will go through breaking. We will go through breaking. But it will be for your glory. But it will be for your glory. It will be for souls to go to heaven. It will be for souls to go to Father, heaven. we thank you in this hour. Father, we thank you in this hour. That we will be used as instruments of salvation. That we will be used as instruments of salvation. For your glory, Lord. For your glory, Lord. Lift up your voice for 30 seconds and pray. Eke de Bezuka, Rebe de Besaka da Bahazika, Remende le Besaka da Bahaya, Romonte le Besika da Bahazu, Lebrando Roste Eva Lima Ando, Nika da Bahazuka, Levante le Besuka da Bahaza. Lift your voice, lift your voice. Bye, bye, bye. 
Lift your voice, lift your voice. I just saw a vision when we were praying. And this vision troubled me. But the Spirit of God comforted me through the vision. As we were asking the Lord to break us and to use us, that we may win more souls for Him. I saw a vision and it, it troubled me, but the Holy Spirit comforted me. Because I heard His voice say that through all this, you will know that I am God. In the vision I saw, I saw the southern part of Africa. And I saw a renowned bishop from that southern part of Africa. And I saw that this bishop, I can see his name, but I will not mention it because the Lord told me not to. But I'm you saying this as a sign for you. I saw him rise up. And I saw him gather people here in America, specifically apostles and some prophets. And I saw them sitting in a discussion in my vision. And in the discussion, they were discussing me. I heard the conversation. And in the conversation also, I heard them mentioning my father. But the Lord told me this. He said that he's using this for my next dimension. Yeah. I see all of them gathered, 16 of them. But in this, the Lord Jesus will be glorified. Amen. Yeah. In this, the Lord Jesus will be glorified. Let me just say this. Men of God, I love you. Amen. But what the Lord has started, nobody can stop. Amen. I'm sorry to tell you. Amen. Hallelujah. Nobody can stop it. I just saw it. I sat in their meeting. I won't mention names. There's no need. But I saw them. They mean well. But I'll tell you this. What the Lord has started with me, no one can know. stop. Amen. I don't know. And because God spoke to you and He confirmed it to me, I'm just verifying if you saw what I saw. Okay. But I will not say name. But from Southern Africa, there was a letter B. In America, there was a letter P. 
<laughs> Don't say, Papa, it's okay. <laughs> Please. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you know, I... oh, you know what's gonna happen? Yes, Papa. God is gonna lift you higher. Amen. 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 And for His glory, as God lifts you higher, they will keep trying to attack you until people leave them. I don't know what to say. Keep on keeping on. God is gonna raise you higher and higher. Hallelujah. All I know is this, Papa. I was born for Christ. I will die for Christ. Amen. I'm here to serve the purpose of God. Amen. And to win souls for his kingdom. If somebody has a problem with me, they have a problem with him. I don't need to fight anybody. Jesus fights my battles. Amen. Glory be unto his name. Not only now and forever. Man of God, come quickly. You, come quickly. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice and talk to Jesus. Lift your voice and talk to Jesus. Lift your voice and talk to Jesus. Come on, somebody. Lift your voice and talk to Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Something special is coming upon you. I receive. I thought I would hear the overflow be live. I receive. I thought I would hear the overflow be live. Hallelujah. 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 Listen to me. There is a new level God is taking you to. I receive. Say, Father, thank you for the brokenness. Father, thank you for the brokenness. It has drawn me closer to you. It has drawn me closer to you. Father, thank you for the brokenness. Father, thank you for the brokenness. It has brought me closer to you. It has brought me closer. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Father, thank you for the brokenness. It has brought us closer to you, Father. Thank you for the brokenness. Zetabandalabasebranda. Zerivandish. Father, thank you for the brokenness. Father, thank you for the brokenness. Pray, pray. Father, thank you for the brokenness. Thank you for the yieldingness of our spirits, Father. Tonight, God is going to touch somebody. Hallelujah. He is going to touch somebody. Hallelujah. Lift your voice and talk to Jesus. The brokenness. Begin to pray, pray, pray. This is your moment. This is your time. Hallelujah. Can I prophesy? Where's Papa? Prophesy. Papa, it does not matter. It does not matter how far 
your children have gone, how far your brother has gone, your sister has gone, the hand of God is not short to deliver. Hallelujah. Don't stop praying. Hallelujah. Don't stop. Hallelujah. What is impossible with man yeah. is possible with God. Yeah. What man cannot do, God can do. Hallelujah. If the Lord Jesus will go to the depth of the grave, go even into hell to break hell apart so that me and you never have to go. How much more for those who are still in the land of the living? Hallelujah. If you knew this word is for you, you will clap for the Lord. Hallelujah. As you clap, victory is coming to your children. Hallelujah. Victory is coming to your family. Hallelujah. Victory is coming to your husband, to your wife. Hallelujah. Lift your voice, begin to pray for your family. Lift your voice. Lift up your families. Repandi ali alabans. Lift up your loved ones. Repanda lavate. Oh, repanda lavabase. Repanda lavandus. We repanda lavandus. Seke de bada lavabasur lavada. Oh, repanda lavabasi kadi alia. Repanda lavase. Oh, repandi ali alabans. Very endovi. Sakamata from. Hey, 
In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Shh. Prophesy. Lift your hands to Jesus. Our family. I lift your hands and begin to pray. 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 Lift your voice and pray. Yeah. Somebody saw that. Only Jesus can restore. When a prophet comes to you, he comes to show you what Jesus has already decided to do. There was a man that came to the Lord Jesus and said, Lord, if you're willing, make me whole. Jesus said, I am willing. Prophecy shows you the willingness of God. Are you hearing me? Huh? Uh, he has it. Where, where, are they? where are they? Okay. If you would speak to Jesus, the Lord Jesus will rescue you now because he's the one speaking. If the Lord Jesus is speaking, you just have to engage with him. A prophet is a carrier of the presence of God. His words are not his own. When he comes to you, it's a visitation from God. You engage with his word, you prosper. And the prosperity begins in your soul, in your spirit, and then in your body. I want you to just lift your right hand to him. Lift your right hand or your left hand, whatever hand that you can. Say, Lord Jesus, lift them up. Lift them up. Lift them up. Listen to me. There is no situation the Lord Jesus cannot take care of. Our God and our King is able to do all things. Look at your neighbor and say, Jesus is able to do all things. Say it like you mean it. Say, Jesus is able to do all things. Jesus is able to do all things. Let me tell you something. Your voice is a carrier of the faith that is in you. Yeah. The Bible says when Jesus commanded things, he spoke with a stern voice. Hear me. The Lord Jesus is able to do all things. I said the Lord Jesus is able to do all things. I thought I would hear a better amen. amen. Your amen is let it be so. I said the Lord Jesus is able to do all things. Amen. Hear me. If your faith be in the Lord Jesus, you will never, ever, ever be disappointed. Amen. I can disappoint you. Your brother can disappoint you. Your sister can disappoint you. But the Lord Jesus will never, ever, ever, ever disappoint you. The same God that brought you into this place is the same God that will answer your prayer now. The same Lord who put you to watch this. Whether you're on YouTube, Facebook, it does not matter. All God needs is your amen. amen. I said all God needs is your amen. amen. If you would say amen. 
saying, let it be so. It will be done unto you. Hear me. You are better than the centurion man who built his faith just from being a military man. He had the understanding of the power of the Lord Jesus. How much more for you who knows him as God? Who knows that it is by him and through him that all things are created and all things are held together? Something spectacular is about to happen. I thought I'll hear better. Amen. Amen. Lift your hands and lift those prayer requests. I decree and declare you are above and not below. All you need is amen. Amen. I said you are above and not below. Everywhere you step you will possess. The prayer requests you have come with have been answered. The sickness that you are carrying has been healed. Whatever you are waiting on, God has answered. God has given you keys for another dimension. God has given you elevation today. God has delivered prosperity unto you today. Nobody will overpower you. Nobody will conquer you. You are above and never below. You are walking from glory to glory. You are rising from one dimension to another dimension. Everyone will know you as the blessed of the Lord. You are blessed coming in and going out. Your children are secure. Death shall be far from you. Premature death will be far from you. From today you are under the covering of God. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is done. Begin to clap your hands and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The louder the praises, the greater the miracle. Hallelujah. Listen to me. Lift what you want to give to God. Lift what you want to give to God. This is a divine appointment. This is a divine appointment. This is marking a new day in your life. This is marking a new day and a new dawn in your life. Grab something of substance. Lift it before the Lord Jesus. Lift it high. Listen to me. You are giving today is just telling God thank you. Are you hearing me? You are giving today is just saying thank you to God. And your thank you to the Lord Jesus is an affirmation that God has already given you what you came for. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This man with the heart right there, do you know anyone in Portland? I have received tonight. In Jesus' mighty name. Jesus' mighty name. Now, before you come and give, there's a conference going on that I want you to register for. It's not happening here, but it's happening at City of Refuge. It's happening in my grandfather's church. And tomorrow, at what time, Papa, am I teaching? At two, at one. At one, I'll be teaching a prophetic class. And in the evening, we'll have a powerful service where my father will be completely free to extra... I thought you would clap. Hallelujah. He will be completely free to go to other depths. So go and register and then on Saturday I'll be preaching in the evening and my father will be teaching a prophetic class in the afternoon. And uh, Bishop Noel Jones also will join us. It will be powerful... It will be, I thought you clap your hands. I thought you clap your hands. So I want you to come and give to God. Where's Apostle? As you're giving to God, I want you to dance, celebrate because something has been delivered unto you. In Jesus' name. Clap your hands and celebrate the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody shout, yeah, yeah. Oh, 
come on, shout it again. Yes. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are we ready to dance? Yes. You sure you're ready to dance? Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Mm, glory to God. We give you praise. We thank you, Lord. You alone are worthy. Hallelujah. Come on and dance and give before the presence of the Lord.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God richly bless you. God richly bless you. We love you. And we'll see you on Sunday. God richly bless you.